Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines on a special Friday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, now the US have issued in public a travel advisory to its residents on places in Jamaica, parishes where they should not go because of the high violence right now. Now, I was a bit surprised because I was looking for Montego Bay, Kingston, Spanish Town, Clarendon and other areas such as St. Thomas to be places where persons from the US should not go. But when I saw these three parishes, to be honest with you, I was a bit surprised because these three parishes have the lowest in bloodshed in Jamaica. We look at St. Elizabeth, Trelawney and Manchester. I said to myself that the US Department is being misinformed. St. Elizabeth have seen one of the lowest murders so far of this year, not to mention Trelawney. Well, Manchester earlier in this year but it has calmed down. Now, St. Elizabeth, the only thing that's really going on in the parish is the high level of robberies, the high level of bars, jewelry store, supermarkets, financial outlets, yeah, robbery. Well, Trelawney, you might have a dispute here and there between friends family members but however the crime rate in Trelawney is very low. I said before Manchester had it early in the year but the police are doing excellent job in trying to keep down the crime rate in Manchester from spiraling out of control. Now frequent robberies are surely affecting Manchester. Do you notice affecting Manchester on the arise right now? Women who are being targeted and being R-A-P-E-D. That's right. Women in the parish are being targeted and R-A-P-E-D. So that, my viewers, is an issue right now in the parish of Manchester. But however, the police are doing a fine job. Now, to the US Department, I believe your information is incorrect. I do believe need to get some correct information that's credible and accurate because these three parishes especially St. Elizabeth and Trelawney have the lowest percentage in murder rate in Jamaica so far for the year. Now Americans are not stupid, they are not fools. They know Jamaica is one of the top five countries in the world with a high level of violence but they are still coming because you have states in America like Chicago and California that have a high level of violence even more than Jamaica so they're not stupid they know Jamaica is bloody but they still come to Jamaica and still enjoy the, what the country has to offer as a matter of fact right now across the globe in this world most countries today including the first world and the third world countries are having problems when it comes down to high level of violence after the big C, the world has become very violent and these issues stem from domestic violences and also major gang violence. So in countries where you see the high level of violence is because gangs are fighting. Persons who haven't seen eye to eye for a long time are now at it, taking out each other and relatives are getting involved. Now we head towards Hopel Hanover 
this afternoon around 1 p.m., a man who is an elderly was shot and killed by armed men. Now, based on information, the man whose name is not brought to public at the moment was doing work along the Crabwood Road in Hopewell, Hanover. When armed men pulled up, they started firing shots, hitting him all over his body. After which, these gunmen escaped. When the smoke was clear, the police was called to the scene and all investigation started. So far, there is no motive as to why this man was murdered in Hopewell, Hanover today. Now we head towards Canaan District in Adelphi, St. James, where last night a third murder took place, my viewers, after Wednesday morning, two men were shot and killed in the community. That is 25-year-old Trevon Studard of Smithfield in South Lamar, Westmoreland. But he has been living in Canaan District, Adelphi, for quite some time now. Now, based on information, Around 9 p.m., residents stumbled upon the body of Trevon. Now, it was a gruesome sight because Trevon had chop wounds to his body. And when I mean chop wounds, his hands were severed. Not only that, but his throat was slashed. Now, persons in Adelphi are planning to move out, which is very sad. Residents who burn and grow. Remember now, Adelphi was a quiet place and criminal elements, just like rats, rodents, love to create hazard and destruction everywhere they go. And residents who are law abiding have to pack up and leave that community and their house behind because the fear of being targeted by these criminals these serpents, these demons from hell. Who doesn't want peace but constant destruction? May I tell the people, Jamaica is a sad place. Jamaica is becoming to be a place where persons, Jamaicans, are not feeling safe anymore. Can you imagine your own country you live in? You're not really comfortable to live in the country that you're born and grow because of these young little waste boys in the communities prefer violence instead of peace. And their conflict most times are over foolishness, over turf, over streets that these little waste youths never help build. On the screen right now is Junior Douglas of Geneva District in Greenchill. Now last night, this man was shot and killed by hoodlums, by gunmen, by serpents, by criminal elements in Geneva. Now however my viewers, this is very sketchy at the moment. The police are investigating and so far there is no motive as to why Junior Douglas was murdered but I'm certain there will be more information further on as to what transpired and why he was taken out by these demons from hell. Now we head towards Water Lane in Falmouth Chilani where this morning around 5.15 am 22 year old Dino Bay Pritchard was shot and killed by a police and military team. Now, based on information, Dino Bay was at home this morning when a police and military team went to serve him a warrant. Now, Dino Bay pulled a firearm and pointed at the police and military team, after which he was fatally shot by security forces. Now, now Dino Bay, aka Rifle, succumbed to his injuries and also a pistol an ammo was recovered on the scene. The police are investigating. This is Jay Crazos once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Friday night.
represent. I may represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him. I review the thing. Them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him. I review the thing. Them. Review the thing. Them. Review the thing. Jay Crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing, them review the thing, them Jay Crazy